So we finally made it to the hotel at around 9 a.m. in the morning and immediately before I went up to my hotel room I stopped for breakfast which was also complimentary with our stay which was really nice they had a lot of uh, fresh food they made to order some stuff as well fresh fruits as well as natural juices oh thank you for uh, Jersey uh, what's this one? It's an orange juice. And that's pineapple? Um, no, it's just orange. Okay, I'll do the green juice. Okay. It's like okay. kale or something. Yeah. Thank you. It, I think it's orange and cilantro. Cilantro and if apple. Huh? If you want, I can prepare pineapple. Oh, you have pineapple? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that'll be good. Thank you. Is there a papaya here in here? No, it's watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Okay. I love me some watermelon. Which one is hot? The green one and the red. Oh, so the, the red one is hot? Red, yes, too hot. Okay, y'all, so I had to put my glasses on because I am so tired, you guys. I am so tired, but I'm not even gonna hold you all. Uh, I just got to my hotel room. Finally, oh my gosh, literally, I had like a 13 hour day yesterday. Like from Atlanta to LA, that was like four hours. And then waited for about an hour and a half. Then I had another flight uh, from LA to San Salvador, right? El Salvador. And that flight was four hours and like 36 minutes. So you guys, you can imagine how like exhausted I am, literally. Can I tell you, by the way, let me just say this real quick. LA flights, I have written off LA people from like m years ago, okay? I told myself I will never do another LA flight and if I see that I'm on an LA trip, I am swapping. But this time around, I decided to do it because again, it's it was taking me to El Salvador for 30 hours. And in addition to that, it's only it was only one leg going back home, right? So tomorrow, it's only one leg, one flight going back home. And guess what? I'll only be deadheading, which means flight terms, aviation term, I'll be getting paid to fly as a passenger. So I won't even be working the flight, y'all. So four hours from El Salvador um, to Atlanta, I'll be doing absolutely nothing, all right? I'll just be a passenger and I'll be getting paid for it. 
why wouldn't I swap into this trip? So the first day was just a little wonky, you know, just really long, but I figured it would have been worth it, 30 hours, and then I don't even work back going home. So anyway, y'all, I am here, I made it. I am so crusty, okay? I look so crusty, but it was nice um, coming in. The hotel is actually really nice, and I didn't expect that type of breakfast. It was kind of like buffet style, but you could sit and eat, and they made some things for you to order, which was nice. They made it right in front of you. They had like fresh juice that's what I like with like um, countries like these or places in like the Caribbean or like even like Mexico I love that they do fresh juices and the lady was so nice she made me fresh pineapple juice which was so nice um, but anyway my battery's about to die I'm gonna charge my phone eat some food shower take a nap and then my co-worker Christian I was gonna go out by myself but we were talking and he's like oh I'll come along with you whatever you're doing I'm like yes because listen I have an itinerary okay but I may not be able to to do everything i was trying to do the volcano thing but i think it's a san santa ana volcano it's really beautiful i see if i can put a, put a picture here of what i want to do but the tour is like four hours and they start at like a certain time and i, I would have already missed it and tomorrow my pickup is like 11 a.m so i don't think i'm going to be able to to make that that hike i really 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 wanted to do that hike i may not be able to do this on this trip i have 30 hours here which i'm super excited about you know me you guys i'm going to get things done okay if i have 24 hours 20 hours i'm going to get something done so kristen and i are going to hang out today we're probably going to definitely i'm definitely doing that rainbow slide that's the main reason why i wanted to come to el salvador long story short i swapped out into this trip well, originally i had a dallas layover which I swapped into um, from my original trip, Dallas and somewhere else. I like going home on my layover, so I swapped out into that Dallas trip. And then last minute, I saw this on the board like a couple of days ago, and I was like, okay, El Salvador, 30 hours. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to do that rainbow slide, okay, by um, Picnic Steakhouse. I think it's where it's at. And so that's the main reason why I'm here, y'all. That's the main reason. So we're gonna get that done today and maybe go to the beach and hang out for the rest of the day. So that's probably what we're going to do. That's pretty much it. But anyway, I'll take you along with me. I want you to chat too much. My battery's about to die anyway. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, beautiful people. Um, I am ready. I took a good nap, y'all. I ate my food, showered, took a good nap for about two hours. From about 10, maybe like 11 a.m. to like 12.40. So I literally slept for a little bit over two hours. And I wanted to get out a little bit earlier, but my body was like, you need to take a nap before you go anywhere. So I am ready, y'all. It's like 1.17 p.m. right now, 1.17 in the afternoon. Um, I scheduled an Uber for 1.30 around 135 to like 145 so I'm gonna head downstairs in just a second meet Christian down there and then we're gonna head to the um, picnic steakhouse so that we can do the rainbow slide um, maybe we'll still head to the beach I'm not gonna bother to take any like stuff like swimsuit and stuff like that because I may not really get into water anyway what I really wanted to do was like the horseback riding so I'll see we'll see y'all but um I forgot these jewelry y'all have my watch on my ring and everything but We've been advised here to not really be too flashy, right? You don't want to really wear jewelry and stuff like that. And I do like wearing my jewelry, like my nose ring. My husband actually handcrafted this nose ring, y'all. And this, can I show y'all something real quick? This ring is literally one of my favorites right now. He handcrafted this ring. My husband actually has a handcrafted jewelry company. You can check out the link in the description below. This is actually one of his first pieces, as you can see how beautiful that is you see that y'all look how beautiful this is this was one of his first pieces and i love it so much and plus it kind of goes with my red but i'm just like oh i don't know if i should wear it today because i don't want to be too flashy because here i mean most places in the world right you don't want to be you want to be careful regardless right um, regardless of where you are but sometimes when you visit countries that may have uh less resources or whichever you want to be careful wherever you go but it's been said that you know you may stick out and potentially you know get jacked or something because of you know wearing jewelry and stuff like that so i may just not wear all these jewelry and i'll probably just wear my silicone wedding band at least to signify that hey i am 
married okay but anyway y'all yes go check out my husband's handcrafted he does nose rings as well it's handcrafted as you can see it's one of my favorite pieces all right these are clip-ons so whether or not you have um, a piercing a nose piercing because i don't so that's why I, lo I love these nose rings he does beautiful necklaces and some of his pieces are exclusives which means that he doesn't typically replicate them some of them he does some of them he does not um but you can definitely find nose rings and handcrafted jewelry on there link is below just go to elegancenoir.com you can find some elegantly handcrafted jewelry um, but yeah I may not be able to wear my jewelry today y'all. I may still wear my nose ring and that's pretty much it all right y'all but let me stop the blab my lift is about to be here in like 10 minutes so I'm going to head downstairs and I'll see you guys when I get to the rainbow slide to do this slide I'm a little bit nervous you guys honestly I don't want to say what I'm nervous about because I don't want it to come to pass so we'll just see what happens <laughs> so there's a line y'all yeah this is a famous slide so the imagine slide also known as a rainbow slide is located by picnic steakhouse and it only costs five dollars to ride the slide it's a beautiful view you can also listen to live music and eat before or after your ride you can also ride the slide as many times as you wish slide was literally crazy if you come to El Salvador you have to you must do the imagine slide okay well, let me get in this car hello y'all I literally felt like I was gonna die I'm not even exaggerating but it was amazing if you come to San Salvador you have to do the imagine slide if you do anything else you must do it okay and plus the scenery is so beautiful here they have a really nice restaurant we're not eating there we're going to head to, I don't know, I don't remember what the name of the beach is called, I think Kamawi. It's called Nawi Beach, N-A-W-I Beach. And um, I think there's an entry fee of like $20 or $25 or something. And it includes drinks and horseback riding. We're gonna do that and call it a day. I really wanted to do more, but there's only so much you can do in one day. So anyway, I'll see y'all there. So even though the ride from Picnic Steakhouse to Nawi Beach was about an hour 40 or close to two hours away, it was still nice to be able to take in the views of the city as well as the mountainsides. So it was well worth the drive. All right, y'all, so my driver, I asked my driver to stop real quick so that we can get some coconuts. Of course, hi, Amy. Hello. Um, coconut? Coco, see. Si. Uh, water? Is agua? Inside? Yeah. No, agua.
love, love, love coconut water, okay? So immediately upon arriving at Naui Beach, I fell in love with the ambiance. It was just super chill. They had live music. Also, the staff was really nice. Even though I did not buy my coconut water from them, they actually offered to crack it open so that I can enjoy the coconut jelly. If you know anything about coconut jelly, you know that stuff is good, okay? So I don't know if you can hear me because the music is loud in the background But if you don't hear anything else, hear me out when I say this If you ever come to El Salvador, definitely try out Naui Beach It's about two hours from like the city, so it's going to be a drive But the beautiful thing is that Uber is very cheap here It only costs us like $53 to drive two hours away and from like our hotel to like the, pit, the picnic steakhouse where we did the rainbow slide y'all it was literally only like six dollars four to like seven dollars around there it depends on the type of vehicle that you wanted so it's really really cheap here to get around or you can just hire a driver whichever works for you or if you're gonna be staying for a long time and you want to do more off-road stuff um, and, and find hidden gems then you can rent a car but it's really really cheap it's not it's not that expensive to just do an uber but definitely come out here you guys it's so beautiful i regret so much not i really regret not following my instincts and bring a backpack right first of all you know i was actually anticipating going out by myself and so that's one of the reasons why i wanted to bring a backpack because it only made sense so that i don't have to go back to the hotel to change and all of that and i you guys i packed so many swimwear <laughs> So I'm just like laughing myself now that I did not pack a swimsuit. I could have gotten some really nice photos in this water. I'm like so bummed out about it. I should have followed my instincts and just bring my backpack, bring my bathing suit, and I would have been able to change while I wait for my food and take some beautiful photos out here. So I'll show you the scene, what I'm looking at really quickly. view and the sun just set a while ago and it was so so beautiful but anyway i just want to pop in to tell you guys definitely come to naui beach if you're ever in el salvador it's definitely worth it it's like 25 bucks to get in you get a welcome drink a free drink you also get to do a little bit of horseback riding and enjoy this beautiful scenery and enjoy all the amenities say that the menu was really really good they had a variety of things they even had a lot of vegan options or if you're a seafood lover whatever you eat they had it good morning one more time from the beautiful El Salvador you guys I'm running downstairs to get breakfast real quick it's about 9 45 a.m. here and I think breakfast finishes like at 11 a.m. but my pickup is like 11 38 so I want to you know just relax a little bit go downstairs have some breakfast and then come back up and put on my um, uniform but y'all I was too tired yesterday to vlog at the end of the night right so 
the last thing I vlogged was being by Nawi Beach. You know, we did horseback riding and everything, had a good time, ate some good food. Y'all, then it started thunderstorming, right? Thunderstorming, literally like lightning, all that good stuff. And even though we were outside, uh, we were underneath like cabanas and stuff like that. So it was still fine, right? We still had a good dinner. But <laughs> we almost got stuck over there, all right? We almost got stuck two hours from our hotel in a thunderstorm, okay? Now, let me tell you, if you come to El Salvador and you decide to go to that beach, <clears throat> Naui Beach, make sure that you either, you know, if you run out of car, fine, right? Make sure that you either exchange numbers or you take the um, whosoever took you there, like an Uber driver or a taxi or something. Make sure that you take their contact so that at the end of the night or you know going back, you won't have any issues. The thing is, that beach is kind of like a hidden gem. It's not something that you just drive past and you see it, right? You kind of have to turn off and you know go through these back roads and stuff like that to even get there. So because it's like two hours away from like the city. Uber cars and taxis aren't just waiting around for people over there, right? It's not like the city. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have planned transportation, you have a backup ride set up, okay? Because this is what we had to do, right? We, you know, try to find Ubers. There was no Uber around, right? There's no Lyft here in El Salvador. There's just Ubers and taxis and stuff like that, right? And so, and so what we had to do was we had to ask one of the workers there, hey, do you know any taxi driver that you can just call up for us, <laughs> whichever. Fortunately, we're really nice enough to do it. The first taxi canceled on us, so we had to wait like a whole hour, you guys, just to get a taxi to come. It was close to like two hours, you know, back <laughs> to our hotel to the city. So it was somewhat a hot mess, but we made it home, okay? We made it home and that, that's what matters. So our initial plan was to leave uh, to leave there, now we beach at around 7.30, and we were done eating and ready to go by 7.30, but like I said, we had to wait a whole hour when we realized, oh, we don't have, there's no Uber drivers here, okay? There's no taxis outside just waiting for us. Like I said, it's, it's some off-road, so there's no way we were just like walking. So we ended up leaving around like 8.30, which wasn't too bad, and the drive was about like an hour 35, an hour 40, something like that, back to our hotel. <laughs> but I'm just happy that we made it, y'all. The driver charged like $70, which is fine. It was a last minute situation and we didn't plan properly, you know? So if we maybe took the, I almost did it. I was this close to asking our Uber driver that took us there if he would be willing to take us back. But I started having a conversation and there was a little bit of a lang language um, barrier. So we just basically kept the conversation short. I basically just asked him you know, if he's done for the day or something. I was trying to ask him, hey, would you mind taking us back? Because I, my instincts told me that it would be difficult to get back. So I should have done that. But anyway, I learned my lesson and I'm sharing this with you so that when you come, you won't have this issue, okay? And you'll learn from my mistake, all right? And just make sure that you have a backup ride plan to come back. But anyway, beautiful people it is about 9 50 right now i'm gonna go downstairs so i can take my time have breakfast enjoy some views i'm gonna see if there's a pool or something maybe head outside Ooh, and i'm going to try the pup pupusas i think that's what it's called i hope i'm saying it correctly i'm going to try the pupusas it's a must have when you come here i believe it's like the national dish if i'm not mistaken um it's basically like it's kind of like a flatbread, but it's like stuffed in the middle with, you can have it with beans, beans and whatever you eat or meat or veggies or whichever. And apparently it's really good, depending on where you get it from. I'm gonna go try the one that's downstairs and I'll let you guys know how it is. But anyway, I'm gonna take you along with me. So let's go. This is my outfit for the day. I'm just wearing this cute little dress and some flip flops that I usually just wear in my hotel room because I don't like to walk barefoot in hotel rooms. So yeah, this is what I'll be wearing to breakfast. Ah, uh, yes, I definitely want to try some of these. Okay. Uh, do, what type do you have? Beans? Uh, beans and cheese, uh, pork and cheese, beans, pork and cheese. No pork, just uh, beans. beans. Thank you. So I'm having tamales. <laughs> um, I haven't had this one in a long time, or I'm not even sure if I've had it before. These beans, you guys, these refried beans are so, so good. I had it yesterday, it was so good. Today they actually had potatoes, home fried potatoes. Oh my gosh. So this plate is 100% vegan, and I'm having 
ripe plantains as well. Over here, I have some pupusas, pupusas, man, I always say it wrong. And I have some cabbage with it as well. Don't mind my fork and my knife is just all over the place because I was just trying to get my food from inside out here. So, and apparently you have to have it with cabbage. Um, I forgot my tripod, so I don't know how the view is going to look with me eating it. But um, apparently it's great with cabbage, so we're going to dive in. Cheers! All right, y'all, let's dive in. What should I have first? I wish that you could see my plate. So I'm having the potato real quickly. Oh, let me grace. Oh, God. Amen. God bless this food. Mm. Guys, I wish you could taste this. This kind of reminds me. I'm gonna put some here. These potatoes reminds me of when I used to live in uh, when I used to live in Jamaica, right? And there was this um, tasty patty. If you're from Jamaica or you live in Jamaica, you know tasty patty. I don't know if they still have it there. They should, but tasty patties, right? When I was a teenager. Okay, I guess it's gonna be a breakfast chill and talk kind of morning. <laughs> When I was a teenager, right? Um, there was this volunteer place that I used to go to and there was this tasty patty um, on the way there uh, from the bus stop to the volunteer spot, Hands Across Jamaica. And I used to always buy these potatoes. It's like fried potatoes or something. I don't know if they still have it, but oh, that was one of my favorites. That was my weakness, you guys. And this tastes almost like it. Mm. Now let's try these refried beans again today. Y'all see that? That looks good, doesn't it? Mm. I think I'm gonna be full for the rest of the day. Mm. Ma'am. I love El Salvador. I am a true food lover. But I just got off of a 30 day raw um, plant based journey. Some of you guys may have known that, and I lost. I lost a good bit of weight, like 20 pounds, and I feel really good. And so after that, my body hasn't been able to eat that much food at once like I used to, which is a good thing because I think that's why one of the reasons why I gained weight so quickly. So, but honestly, this is probably all I'll have for the entire day, which is not a bad thing. Mm. Oh my God. Now let's try these tamales. Apparently it's just corn, made out of corn. Mmm. Okay, take me back to Jamaica. Like, take me back there. <laughs> this literally tastes like turn cornmeal in Jamaica. As we say in Jamaica, turn cornmeal. Mmm, who on here is from Jamaica? Oh my goodness. If you're from Jamaica, if you know about turn cornmeal, please let me know in the comments below. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Why does it taste like it has um, salt fish in there or codfish, as they say in America, but in Jamaica we just call it salt fish. But it doesn't, it's literally just corn. I guess they've salted it well. Oh man. I just dropped some corn in my juice, seriously. I guess they salted it well, so. I can't eat all this food. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Why this fly on my table? Okay, I'm just gonna try the pupusas. I can never say it correctly the first time. I'm gonna try the pupusas real quick. I'll let you know how it is, especially with the corn. And then I'm just going to enjoy my breakfast and talk to you guys later. So I'm going to, I'm gonna have it by itself first and then I'll have it with the, not corn, 
I'm gonna have it with the cabbage and tell you. Mmm. Wow. It's not how many pizza. It's stuffed in the middle with like beans. Now let's try it with the cabbage. So apparently you can get this with meat, beans, cheese, pork. It was pork. Mm -mm, ain't nobody eat no pork. But you can have beans, pork, and cheese. And I guess, you know, other places they'll sell it with like other veggies or other meats and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. It's actually really good with the cabbage. Mm. Uh, even this cabbage reminds me somewhat of Jamaica. How we make it in Jamaica is like what you'll have on the side on like a Sunday with your rice and peas, like a side of cabbage and tomato and lettuce and stuff like that. This is good, you guys. Honestly. I'm coming back to El Salvador. Like, first of all, I didn't get to do my volcano hike, so I have to do that next time. I think I'll come back one more time, and then I don't think I have to come back here really, um, or I don't have to come back for a while. And hopefully, I can take my husband the next time I come back here. Anyway, I tried everything in front of y'all, so I'm gonna just enjoy my food, so I don't have to eat and talk the entire time. I'm gonna just enjoy my food, and I'll see you guys later. Before I left El Salvador, I stopped to do a little bit of duty-free shopping. My husband's birthday is coming up, so I decided to get him a nice cologne. I also ran out of some of my favorite perfumes, so it only makes sense. Plus, I get 10% off as crew. I ended up getting this YSL Lieb perfume that one of my co-workers was wearing, and it smelled so, so pretty. So I decided to get that, as well as one of my absolute faves, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. I absolutely love this perfume and I was out so I decided to just stop and grab some. Por favor, permanezcan sentados, cinturón de seguridad abrochado siempre y cuando la señal abrocharse el cinturón de seguridad esté encendida. Recuerden que es por su seguridad. If you liked this video and want to see more international travel vlogs from me, be sure to like this video, hit the subscription button, as well as the notification button. That way, whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. Again, it's a go video. It was an absolute pleasure. Let's continue to travel the world together, and I'll see you guys later. Be blessed. Bye.